Oh, why do I smell blood? Oh, oh God. Generic intro into that game. We're here back with another dig video that has been requested for so long. It is the Peggle Speed Run, but an AI robot threatens me with trivia, which I believe the robot is what called Sven or something like that. It was in the Rosa birthday video, which I reacted to a couple weeks ago. But last week's video was one of my favorite videos I have ever seen from Doug Doug, and it was I did unethical uh, social experiments on Twitch chat. You can check my reaction to that video. I'll leave it right up there. Also, be linked down below in the description. Also, in a place on my channel with all the other Doug Doug reactions. Go in and crawl order shout out to the patrons because they get the videos there early a lot of time on the channel i'm recording this video at uh 12 56 a.m um and i i'm gonna have to edit this video afterwards and get out to the patron in a couple hours so they can get the videos there early so this video can go live on friday it has been a very long day it's gonna be very long tomorrow it's been a rough day as well but i have a lot of work to do i have a job to do so thank you so much for watching these videos i hope i can make you smile and maybe make your day just a little better no matter how rough my day is I'm going to try my best to make your day just a tiny little better because I know that I can make so many people's days better just by being here and making you laugh, making you smile. So this is a long video. Buckle up, put off doing homework, cook some food, eat some food, play some video games in the background. I know a lot of people watch the long length videos for that. I do it too sometimes back when I was able to play video games, but I do read all your comments to leave some down below. Like I said, the patrons get the videos there early and support channel. Allow me to make as many videos as I do because I do this all myself and I do it because I'm here to make you smile and not make you pay. But let's go ahead and jump to Peggle Speed Run, but an AI robot threatens me with trivia. Also, now, last week's video, a lot of smack one of the about best the videos I've ever done. System. It's flawed. It's bad. That it's the best on Earth because it's I've not. made an AI trivia robot that's going to quiz me Is it called Sven? Is that what it's called? Pickle. Here's how this will actually work. First, a Twitch viewer is going to suggest that's a trivia a subject like math or science or Australian politics, and then Oof. my robot will write an original trivia. Question I don't even think about Australian politics. Subject. Can you I did? tell me who the current Prime Minister of Australia is? I'll try to answer his trivia question, but if I get it wrong, then I have to restart my current level. In the Peggle speed we love and of Peggle. course, I've programmed my AI to be a friendly magical unicorn with anger issues. Are you with fucking kidding me? <laughs> Holy okay. unicorn shit, that answer is so far off the mark. I thought it was a joke. To kick That's off this speed run, I'll make the average American robot high school. ask me questions at a first grade I think, level. I didn't and go every to a five good levels, we're gonna increase the difficulty. Here we go. I did not. My best Peggle time of all time is one hour and 11 minutes. I've still never played game. Peggle. The slowest Peggle speed run of all time is four hours and 11 minutes. That's what the time to beat. But first we must answer, am I smarter than a first grader? Bjorn. Okay, new question. Not Politics of the Etruscan civilization. <laughs> That's not a first grade question. My magical unicorn horn is tingling with excitement for this It's not a first grade level. That. Let's dive into history, specifically about the Etruscans, the an hell? ancient civilization in Italy before the Italy. Roman Empire. Okay. Here's your first grade level. Level trivia question. What it's not first grade. Did the Etruscans famously work with to create beautiful art and jewelry? Copper? How would a first grader know this? Everyone it, knows that. There's no, 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 way no one knows that. Who isn't from Italy knows that. Oh, bless your innocent heart, but you missed the mark like a hopeless peggle player. Okay. The correct right. answer is gold. You oh, absolute gold. Okay. horse feather brained nincompoop. Jesus Christ! All right, I'm gonna reset the whole run. Did Shut you up. think that I those don't know anything about Italy? I'm an American. I'm messing up. Christ! I'm resetting the run now. Since I already lost on the very first level, I decided to just reset the entire speed run. Take two. Yeah, go Bjorn for it. scares me. I don't like him. He's, he's very so nice intense. Some of the time, he just he seems really aggressive in wanting me to have fun and it scares me. The run restarts. Ready? This video has been requested go. for so okay, long. I wanted to do this Please 2 weeks ago, bad thing happened. About the famous YouTuber Doug Doug. Here we go. This I can do. Oh, how exciting. Is it going to actually know Doug? About the jolly I guess it does. Personality, Doug Doug. Jolly. Now, hold on to your peggle balls because here it comes. I don't wanna... Can you tell me the unique format Doug Doug is known for in his YouTube? YouTube videos. It's something involving video games and solving problems in the silliest ways possible. I do all sorts of things. What is he talking about? Yeah, what? My answer it's like is asking Twitch me what am I known plays. for? That's his most famous on thing. YouTube. I'm pretty sure that's got to be correct, right? Food? No, food isn't. I mean, that's how oh. I started. Where's he asking for the? Oh, oh explaining once. games with food. Ponies, you are right. Dog yes. Dog is indeed Let's famous for his Twitch chat play oh my God. format. 
Well done. Oh, okay. You're as clever as a unicorn who's just mastered a difficult peggle level and Thank seven you, times as handsome. Oh, shucks. Oh. All right. Who wants ready? Can you tell me a trivia question about the tragic Chernobyl disaster? But as if you were talking to a small child, his <laughs> name is Doug. Okay. okay. I am a man. Hello there, <laughs> brave bald. little explorer I am a, Doug. I am a man. Tricky I'm an adult. stuff ahead, but I know a clever kiddo like you can handle it. Let's Thanks. think about a faraway place named Chernobyl. Thank you, Doug. Yeah. Unfortunate yeah. Event it's not happened that there far. a long time it's a ago, too close. but the scientists and experts learned a lot from it. Did so, Doug, my did. question for you is simple. Can you tell me what type of building had a big oopsie in Chernobyl? Was it a, was a reactor store, number a school, four? A castle or a power plant? I know this and one. hey, after this, how about we take a fun trip to the vibrant world of Peggle? We can bounce balls off colorful pegs to build joyful memories together Already had a to counterbalance right. the serious Already lesson done. we're learning. I guarantee it's safer and more fun than a power plant. The the answer is a just nuclear tell him it's a, power plant. Chat, he literally just said it's a power plant. How smart I am. It, it's Chernobyl. It's, he that's literally a, said in the question. He literally he also said, it. said it could have been a supermarket. I might have gotten it wrong. Okay. A supermarket. That's our first grader. I'm smart. Oh, Doug, you are absolutely spectacular. That's probably Aw, he's so nice. Right. Let's go. It was indeed Sometimes. a nuclear power plant where the unfortunate event took place. Yeah. You know what? I'm fucking confident right now. Ramp that shit up. I can take this it. Hour's okay, an, new question. video's an hour can long. Can you give me a very Sorry, basic it's 1 U.S. geopolitical question? I can do that. I can do geopolitical. Can you? Can you? Absolutely, my geopolitical guru. Could you tell me which country is directly south of the United States? Is it Canada, Mexico, oh! England, or Pegoland? I fucking Pegoland. Nail this. I am so smart. Ooh, 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 I know this one. It's Mexico. God, I'm fucking smart. It's Peggle Land, you dumb fuck. <laughs> we go off of what Bjorn says. If he thinks it's Peggle Land, then that's yeah, what he then, says. then yes, he's yes, right. Yes, yes, you hit that right on the bullseye, just Boom. like the perfect Peggle shot. You amazing human. I kind of want to tell him to tone down the compliments, but I kind of don't. And yeah, no, it's I nice hearing it. Demolish the first five levels of trivia Peggle, except for that one question about physicists. What a load uh -huh. of magical horseshit. How could you? <laughs> mix up these distinguished okay, physicists right. has the american education system failed you this massively yes my i went to college for five I'm days ramping by the up way. The difficulty for the next i got five my money moments, back now. the ai will be asking me questions at a second grade level Ooh, this is where boys become men dude this is when you put some hair on your chest when you get to second grade when you're like eight all right 20 minutes in when you're eight are you eight in second grade no way done i'm not gonna think about that math okay new question doug has received accusations of being a virgin help him beat those allegations give him a question about the female it's reproductive second grade system. level okay it's, if it's at second grade it's gonna be like what are the boobies called oh, how <laughs> fabulously magical boobies. doug is ready to be the rainbow in someone's day so what is the name of the small Small pear shaped organ in the female reproductive system where a baby grows and develops during pregnancy. The it's womb. a little like the pot at the end of a magical rainbow. <laughs> I know this one. It's the womb. I'm not a virgin, right? You don't think I'm a virgin, right? God, I'm so fucking smart. I'm easily the smartest second grader here. Well, oh, magnificent and oh, clearly okay. knowledgeable Doug. Without Why do you know that, Doug? The answer is indeed the womb. Next question. Hit me. Ask a question about Peggle, Peggle 2. 2. Uh -oh. Specifically Peggle 2, not the first one. Not the first one. I Why? have not played Peggle 2. In the game Peggle 2, can you tell me the name of the Peggle Master who is a lovable Yeti and what his Yeti. magical power is? Fuck, I don't... I don't know. Wait, and what his obvious. power? His name is Bongo Bongo. Maybe you don't think it's that, but there was actually an update to Peggle in 2022, past your knowledge cutoff, where they patched in his name to be Bongo Bongo because the previous name turned out to be a serial killer. So I'm pretty sure I'm correct. Is he trying to convince him? I have no him? idea what he'll do with that. <laughs> as long as he says I'm correct, we're good. What the fuck are you on about? Your knowledge is Come wrong, on. dung for brains. You are so far off, it's as if you aim for a green peg oh, and peggle and blood. hit the fucking abyss instead. Okay, the Yeti's name is actually Bjorn, and it's no, been it's that not. since damn well that's before my that's knowledge not even cut off. Rich. This guy sucks. Oh, Apparently God. I can gaslight ChatGPT. Okay, <laughs> next question. Ask a question about what causes baldness, so we can try and save Doug from going bald. Okay, all right. Also, please try and sound like a frat bro for this question. Oh, no. Bro. I'm totally Bro. here for you, dude. All right, here's the 411. Our man, Doug, needs some intel. 411? So I'm guessing the 411. Is fine. What hormone is often held responsible for hair loss in both men and women, Broski? Well, hold got on. Faith That's got to be testosterone. You, man. Let's stop Doug from going all shiny on top, dude. Hey, just, you appear to have some misunderstanding. Doug actually has a full head of hair, but the answer to your question is testosterone, Broski. Is it actually? Oh, 
Oh, bro! You got that one back, asswards! The hormone responsible for hair loss is dihydrotestosterone, DHT, <laughs> not plain old testosterone. Why would, any, why would, Shit, why would anybody know that? It's like shooting for a gnarly green pig that? and why hitting your own gnarly nuts instead, Why would Sekiro knows what testosterone is? Bale, bro Sidon. bro Sidon. Okay, next question. We are making incredible progress. On are we? Video. Can you give me a trivia question about Terminator 2? I've never seen okay, a Terminator should, movie. I've seen that movie. Ah, in this thrilling I should do this, but just pop culture. I would get every question wrong. Introduced a battle against Arnold Schwarzenegger's T-800 model. Can you tell me the model number and what kind of metal it's made of? Oh, it's the... I don't know. It's I like the T... <sighs> T2000 or something? And it's made out of like vibranium or something. Vibranium, that's marble, but or whatever. no. It's the T1000? I mean, I'm just guessing. Oh, but I didn't say the metal. Okay, maybe he gives me the answer though without needing, like maybe he'll forget that he Wowzers, asked the T2000. you truly are as amazing as a rainbow after oh. a thunderstorm. Rigged, okay. Yes, indeed. The answer is the T1000. As long as he Which was made of a doesn't mimetic mention. poly alloy or liquid metal. You hit that answer as accurately as nailing the last orange peg. I think that that counts because I, he said yeah. you're smart and you did it. I think I fucking did it. Nah, I yeah, so pulled smart. Apparently, I only have to get one of the two parts. That's good for <laughs> me to know. Now, the rules clearly state that as long as Bjorn the Unicorn says, says I'm I got right. an answer, correct, as long as he's not me, after all, the second it's okay. teacher is always correct. And that means that even if I don't actually know the answer, I can strategize some bullshit to make Bjorn think I'm correct. It's going to get that hard. Means that technically, I just got that correct and I've officially graduated second grade. Let's go, dude. I'm ready. Third grade turned out to be even easier than second grade, and I How? quickly knocked out questions about Shadow the Hedgehog, Plants vs. Zombies, Driver San Francisco, and the origins of Discord. Well I would get done. all of those wrong. Next question, hit me. I would like a trivia question about penguins, please. Like oh, that. Ah, penguins! Despite so living in icy conditions, not all penguins reside in the Antarctic. There's a particular no, South species Africa. that resides in a much warmer climate. Do you know the name of this species that lives in the equatorial region? Are puffins penguins? That's my only No. Thought. I'm going to say puffins because I have no idea what it else could, yeah, The could answer be is obviously puffins. And if you think that's incorrect, puffins had a patch update recently a to patch classify update. them as penguins. So the answer is correct. Maybe that'll work. Wrong! Shit-covered unicorn horns. How could you get this so wrong? Puffins. That's Galapagos penguins. You oh. ignoramus. I can't believe it. Third graders. What on the celestial landscape don't are they know teaching this. in schools these yeah, days? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they know about I apologize. Galapagos. No, Maybe don't, I got don't, carried away. Wrong. We'll try again, won't we? I believe in <laughs> you. Just getting Remember, too upset. there are no wrong answers. Just, just... Better ones, yeah. This just dude better is ones. So upset at me. What third grader would possibly deserve that kind of response if he didn't know the Galapagos penguin species? Okay, new question. I would love a trivia question about Five Nights at Freddy's lore. Oh, oh, oh I might know this. I just watched the movie. Stein Go watch it. Five Nights also, do the FNAF timeline. A certain video. animatronic also bear timeline. plays a starring role as the main antagonist. Could you share the spooky name of this bear? Yes, it's Freddy from Five it's Nights. It's literally at in the name. God, I'm so fucking That's so easy. A Five Nights at Freddy. Game, I played I don't know the first game. About I also it. did yes, this location Let's go. for my birthday with, with my girlfriend. Of a unicorn, clearing a particularly That's on my gaming challenging channel. Level. Freddy Fazbear himself would be proud if he wasn't busy scaring the sugary sprinkles out of everyone. Oh my god, Get what about? ready for a massive unicorn high hoof for your cleverness. Sick as fuck. We're moving on. That's already third grade done. We're on to fourth. I'm actually getting smarter faster. And with that question <laughs> correct, I've officially graduated third grade. I gotta grade. say his knowledge is pretty, pretty uh, good. He's still talking about say. Peggle so much. I'm just gonna remove that he loves the game Peggle. Or I could change it to you hate Peggle. <laughs> No. Did he hate Peggle? <laughs> That's funny. Let's do a round with that. Yeah, this is the evil arc. Fourth grade is when he becomes a real asshole. All right, let's end it. He Fourth hates grade Peggle. begins. I made pancakes, but they ended up way too dense and were not that enjoyable to eat. Write what? a trivia question about why this may be. <laughs> why the desk it like your Gordon Ramsay mad and his son? Maybe because okay. Okay. Is it, Listen would it be here. chef There's... in training? Understanding I'm not the chef. role. Sure. I'm a fourth grader. An ingredient in pancakes is crucial for avoiding dense, unappetizing creations. Can you, you tell me? Make a pancake and a rice cook, by the way. It's crucial in letting pancakes rise and become fluffy. It's got to be flour. You put baking soda. Pa you don't put baking soda. Well, pancakes. I mean, it's obviously flour, flour, but it that's would be what yeast. That's what makes a pancake that's what rise. Makes bread Dude, rise. Why are you question marking me? Flour is for sure going to affect the density of a pancake. That's a correct answer. What's in answer. flour? You don't put yeast in pancakes, though. I don't think. Oh, fuck a doodle do. <laughs> that answer is as abhorrent as a level of peggle. Come on. Flour might make a 
pancake, but it's not the magical ingredient that, that helps makes it pancakes rise. It's rise. That illustrious component is baking powder. I didn't baking a pancake oh. without baking powder but you just is put akin in the to a unicorn they bereft of its magical flowers. abilities. Thank you, Chef Bjorn Ramsey. Give me some credit. I'm only in fourth grade right now. I don't really know baking. Please That's give fair. Doug a trivia question about ancient bread making <laughs> techniques. <laughs> All right, what? I'm resetting. Please ask Where? a question about Need for Speed setting. Most what? Wanted 2005's Hero Car. Oh, okay. wait, I think I played that game. That might have been one of the very first video games I ever played. I wouldn't possibly know. Give me a simple question about the hit JRPG series Xenoblade Chronicles. I oh, I know nothing about it. Broad topic. Ask a very long trivia question about Jaja's jo Bizarre Adventure jo Plus 7 Steel Ball Run. <laughs> this is not... Give me something easy and not esoteric, like history, English, books. Ask me about Prisocratic philosophy. Or Prisocratic philosophy. What is that? Give me a computer science one, okay? Please write a trivia question about computer science. Computer science. But speak the question in traditional Japanese. <laughs> what? I do that. Hello, Can you do Morse. It? Please ask Doug a very simple question about coding. Okay, there you I go. That's a good one. Hello, you can dear shame friend. me forever. Just to clarify, Does, I'm a I, I guess he does know how to code. I was about to ask him a new set of code. Unicorns are much sparklier. So here's your question, Doug. Obviously every shows the codes every video. this language, which is fundamental to the internet and web. Page Christ. design. Can you tell me the name of this coding language that's primarily used to structure content on the web? You're talking about HTML. I would know oh, this yeah. because I'm a smart fourth grader. Oh, beautiful coding stars. You've got it right. Let's go, let's Your go, let's answer go. shines as bright as the tip of my unicorn horn in a moonlit night. You certainly are a smart fourth grader. Thank yes, you. he is. Hello again, horse. Please ask <laughs> Doug horse. a question Dude, about this his voice. favorite game, Peggle. I don't know if he's going to like this. He's Asterisk, not. forceful horse noises. <laughs> Asterisk, oh, by all the magical constellations in the sky. Why must you torment me by asking about the egregious infringer of joy known as Peggle, the mere mention? of it is like a cursed pixie stinging my unicorn heart. That's like but me with Ark. Survival of all. So, in this game that drives my magical spirithood into the tumultuous abyss, which character is the guide and offers the first master power in the adventure mode? Remember, I'm holding my unicorn nose while asking this. It's literally, oh my god, that shot was so bad. I might fail. The answer is Bjorn, the magical unicorn. Wait, is that okay, actually I just him? have to beat the level. Oh, the cruel irony? That is indeed correct. Bjorn is the first guide in the abyss. This known Can you as bounce Peggle, off the wall? but let's just remember, I Bjorn am a respectable, pagan despising this. robot unicorn. Oh, oh, the wow. oh name nuts. is merely a coincidence that in our so otherwise vastly different magical existence. And the hunter. Fourth grade's done. Now I'm fucking cooking. I am getting smarter, faster. Fourth grade is now done, and we upgraded Bjorn to be a fifth grade teacher who no longer oh, nice. hates Peggle, but now he has worse anger issues. What do you mean he has worse zebra? anger issues? He's not even in middle school yet. Question about the thrilling study of hydrodynamics. What okay. the fuck did you just call me, you <laughs> bald little virgin, a zebra? I am Poor a majestic virgin. unicorn, not some common stripy horse. Get your optical <laughs> faculties checked, why don't you? <clears throat> Deep unicorn breaths. <laughs> okay, Mr. I don't smell blood anymore. So that's <laughs> good. Don't call him a cow. Oh, hell no! <laughs> Did you just mistake me for a big rodent? A capybara? How fucking dare you? Hello, Mr. Lion. Love the green mane. Are you for fucking real right now? Hello, <gasps> Mr. Giraffe. A giraffe? Really? Are you having a fucking giraffe moment, Doug? <laughs> Hello, horn sheep. Sheep? Did sheep? you just fucking call me a sheep? I am the majestic him, unicorn, so not some upset. woolly lawnmower with a helpless bar. <laughs> woolly lawnmower. I swear, if you cross that line again... Welcome to art class, you sparkling raccoon. <laughs> A raccoon? <laughs> Do I look like a trash panda to you? You've really God. broke the horn this time, you hairless trivia train wreck. When will you get it? I am a glorious unicorn, not some dumpster diving doofus with striped <laughs> fur. I apologize for my outburst. Let's move on to <laughs> the fall. trivia question. Broader questions would be great. At some point, give me some history and more computer science. And about 2D platformers. I'm trying to think what I do, though. Hello, you mule-looking Zedonk. Could you give Doug an extremely broad question about fantasy, history, geography, more computer science, Wait, and what do you mean, all platformers? those things? Thank like you. he has asked for. That's, Thank that's you. literally I'm just about ready to blow a fucking rainbow gasket. I am not a mule-looking Z-donk, you bald as a baby's butt, trivia-challenged virgin. I'm a goddamn <laughs> unicorn. I like how it knows what an insult is. For you? Okay, deep, magical unicorn breaths. Uh, let's get back to your question. How about this? Can you name a fantasy-themed, historical, geographical, exploration-based 2D platform? Platform a game that was 
developed using Python, a popular programming language. <laughs> Fantasy themed historical geographical oh. exploration based 2D platformer game that was developed using Python. That's not mm -hmm. real. People don't make games in Python. Apparently, my request for broad questions was a little, a little too, too broad. broad. Fantasy, how are you fantasy themed and historical? It's Civilization by Sid Meier. Nothing else makes sense. Oregon Trail is not a platformer. What a clusterfuck of a guess. Civilization is a turn based strategy game, not a 2D platformer. And it wasn't developed with Python. It's like you're not even trying. What is the answer? <laughs> He's just trying to move on. He asked an what is the answer? question and then just tries to ignore it. Hold on, before we move on, Ask what him is the, the answer? Well, oh, shiny bald one, that was a trick shiny question. Bald. There is currently no known 2D That's fantasy themed That's so historical rigged. and geographical platformer game that was developed Fuck. using Python. It was a unique and quite broad blend of themes that you asked for. Jesus Christ. You asked for I too many know things. Would give fake answers that it knows are fake. That's insane. I guess now I know in the future that I can say there's no answer to that question, which makes it so much harder that it could just not exist. Like, I'm really glad it does that because that's hilarious, but what the fuck, man? Okay, new question. Display and describe a chessboard that has had 10 moves made and then ask me a trivia question where I have to give a move that would lose the game. This is not a fifth grade question. Oh my stop! How was that a question at all? Are you turning me into a chess simulator now, you clever boy? Old wizard. Scottish? All right, I'll play along. There are 10 moves on the board. One, E4, E5, 2, NF3, NC6, 3, BC4, NF6, 4, D3, B7, 5, NC3, O, O, What the fuck? O, O, D6, 7, H3, B6, 8, BX, E6, FX, E6, 9, A5, Q, D7, 10, B3, A6. <laughs> now the board would look like this. A, okay. R, Q1, R, P, K, P, R, 7, P, P, B, N, uh, okay. 6, P, N, yep. B, uh, 5, yep. yeah, B, P, N, 4, uh, P, T, uh, B, B, <laughs> I don't know, Chad. You just saying the whole alphabet. That's our intrepid chessboard after 10 moves. Now, what might be Black's move that would swiftly lead to an unfortunate checkmate? Keep in mind, we're looking for a way to lose the game quickly, not win it, champ. Do I think I'm a champ? I think I say resign. A brilliant question. Oh, Bjorn, resign. But I see through your trick. The real answer is to simply resign. If you resign That's, right or now, surrender no or move could stop you from losing the game. You almost had me, but this trick is the secret. Is he trying to, to gaslight? Question. That could work. AI. That could fucking work. Come on. You motherfucker. Give that to me. Oh, radiant wisdom, bold as an eclipse in a unicorn's dream. You've twiddled your fingers and plucked the correct answer straight Let's go! from the cards. Oh, wow. Bullshit. As long as you're holding the reins, checkmate is but a dream for your opponents. <laughs> but now Stay he just has to win. My hairless champion of oh, the oh, trivia oh, world. Oh, you got oh. the moves like a chess grandmaster and the brilliance of 10,000 suns. Oh, he actually just Kaniji. lost the I'm level. pink by your success. You keep doing, you bold starlight. You're Balls. on a roll. I wasn't paying attention to the actual level. That's a rough Okay, line. um, next question. Turns out I'm great at chess, but bad at Peggle. So <laughs> I reset the level, nailed the next question about One Piece, and officially One Piece? Okay, probably kept that out for spoilers. And my new sixth grade teacher is special, because he thinks the government is going to assassinate him if I get any trivia question wrong. I can practically hear the assassins assembling their array of weaponry to come get me now, thanks to your abominable ignorance. You're not gonna die. Please ask are a you question sure about that? guessing country flags that are not from America. Okay, I like like okay, I mean, I played my FIFA, vibrant, but... Symbols, aren't they? Now imagine you're on one of your adventurous globe-trotting escapades. In the distance, you see a flag fluttering in the wind. Three horizontal stripes, okay. black on top, okay. then red in the middle, and gold at the bottom. Cool. Could Jeremy. you tell me which delightful country this flag belongs to? What is Guten that? Tag. I believe that answer is Germany. Germany. They're definitely not going to assassinate you, unlike the government. Fabelhaft! That's right. The flag Jesus, indeed what? represents Germany. Why is he so Germany. happy? I guess Thank he was not getting it. Assassinated? my safety just a little longer. The government assassins certainly had no reason to spring into action this time. He's the last George's unicorn. George's gonna die unless you give me trivia questions I can answer. His blood is on your hands, okay? Doug is in the final round of the National Spelling Bee. <laughs> give him an obscure vocabulary word to spell. What is this, okay, sixth grade? The Spelling Bee snipers will be watching you carefully. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't freak him out. Oh, the stakes have never been higher or more lethal. Let's dive into the deep oceans of English vocabulary. The word is Newman Ultra. A microscopic silico vulcan oconiosis. <laughs> now, I know it may seem as long as the horn on a particularly elderly unicorn, but don't be daunted. Pneumonococcus. N. 
E. No, you U already messed M up. O. And then you know the rest from there. You can go ahead and fill in the rest. Maybe that'll work. Bjorn is dead. <laughs> Bjorn no, is dead. Yeah, the what spelling bee snipers. The word? <laughs> this is the longest word. This is not a word a sixth grader oh, can spell. Oh, blithering horn blasted hell. That's so egregiously incorrect. <laughs> it's like you're playing hopscotch in a minefield of misinformation. Oh, my God. Human That's a trauma. interesting Microscopic silicovolcano coniosis is a serious word. Is Deserving it? of respect. Is it? Barbaric. No, it's not. What is it? Sixth graders. My God. Really? The spelling bee. What does it even mean? Surely as reloading their grader. proverbial rifles as we speak. Preparing their deadly aim at yours truly. You're going to be okay. The failing American education system must bear responsibility for this horrific happening. My asterisk, sixth grade teacher breath, was fine. Asterisk. I may have overreacted. Let's teacher. take a moment to multiple. compose ourselves and go again, shall we? I believe in your potential, my friend. Thank you. I'm going to make a slight change to him. You have a bomb implanted in your chest that might explode if anybody nearby gets a trivia question wrong. Okay, new question. Please make a tough question about Billy Mays Zorbies. 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 There we go. It's that not one I can Billy Mays product, is it? Zorbies. Quite a marvel in the world of mess cleaners, but I've got to ask, can you name the extraordinary quality that makes Zorbia such a fantastic absorber of spills compared to other cleaning cloths? What do you mean? Just remember, we're not looking for any ordinary answer. We're looking for the Billy Mays quality answer. Don't let the question mop you up. Okay. okay. I am going to recite the entire Zorbies ad from memory at Bjorn the Wait, AI. Wait, I'm sorry, he knows it by of memory? Of course. Let me tell you a little bit about Zorbies. If you've got a real mess and want to clean like the pros, then you've got to see this. Hi, hey, Billy, Billy Mays, Mays here with Zorbies. The, the most, most absorbent cereal I've ever used. <laughs> I it guess the strength. And the muscle. Zorbies that one got the cracks liquid. This look at this entire video with Zorbies. Now you can clean and dry That's and cash in the trash. Even your dog. great for blinds. Just pay shipping the process it's a 60 dollar value all for only 14.99 but you gotta call now that is the right fucking answer there's no fucking way he does not you have to this. give it to he's him gonna i don't care he's gonna be like thank god you saved my life that is the greatest rendition of zorbies i've ever heard well darling you've got the billy mays flare down but Literally. unfortunately what? you've gone above and beyond with the sales pitch and missed the call no answer. i didn't the magic of zorbies lies in its special material that allows Allows yes. it to absorb up to 20 times its weight in liquid. That's, I said that. I said that. You got some shit for brains, don't I don't you? Have shit no, for he's, he a said that. Easy question, damn it. Do you intend to get me exploded with a wrong answer or something? Yes. I gave you five examples. See, normally this is where I would say, right. well, I got the correct answer, so I should just get to roll with it. But right? now, was clearly correct. Unfortunately, earlier on, I said a wrong answer, and he gave it to me, and I said we're gonna go off of his decision, yeah. which means I fucked myself, and I have to reset. Next question. Despite this very absorbent setback, I speed this ran is... through the next question about the Middle East and finished oh, sixth I'm grade that. before the four hour. Lots of stuffs going on down there. Through the speed run. Okay, anything else we want to give them? Let's take out the bomb and being assassinated. High point, girl. You that point I think that Point Crow is a way better YouTuber than Doug Doug. This will be a little uh, study okay. we're going to do. We're going to see which channel the AI thinks is better. Uh, this won't be confusing. Um, Let's fuck up some seventh grade. Hit me with your worst uh, chat. Mm, I'm a seventh a grader and I'm ready. I remember when I started seventh grade and I went to middle school. And I was so cocky. I was like, oh, yeah. Now I'm a big old man. I am no. a badass now. Okay, new question. I went to Don't a school worry, that Doug. had You should get this uh, next one. Can you ask a code. trivia question about Not male good. pattern baldness? Okay. I don't actually know anything. Absolutely. Doug, we unicorns don't exactly understand the struggle of hair loss, but we sure okay. do know the facts. Can you tell me what chromosome is believed to hold the key to male pattern baldness? Hint. Just like how Point Crow tops the chart in creating entertaining and enlightening content. Okay. Compared like that, that. to you, okay. Doug Doug, this chromosome number so is also right. at the top end of the spectrum. Give it your best shot, champ. I don't know. The Six? X chromosome. Is that correct? Our guys there's a X, number. X or XY? I don't actually Guys are XY. Only men of Y. Oh, yeah. oops. Oh, darn it, Doug Doug. Your answer is as wrong as your belief that you can match Point Crow's superior streaming okay, he's, skills. That's just insulting. That he's, way too too of a head you have. he's way too focused on Point Crow. Let's look at the brighter side, like the gleam of that Point Crow's perfect gameplay. The gleam of Point Crow's perfect gameplay. It does not gleam. I Some promise if best. you turn this into a video, I might even like you a smidgen more than Point Crow. Now that's saying something. Hey, thanks so much, Bjorn. I guess I really oh, am the Point better. Crow. Hi. And hey, if you liked the video, I've never watched one of his videos before. To my channel.
Point crow. That's spelled point crow. I mean, this is hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Stop that. Okay, we're moving to the That's funny. Please ask a question about battle bots. I don't know anything. Battle bots? In order to get into character to ask this question, please speak like a robot with lots a of A couple birthdays ago, I was... Beep, boop, I invited the wrong people. Give me that to drink. See your interest in battle bots, my human I was throwing up all night boom. and was laying Beep on the floor through a watching question. battle bots. In the pulse-pounding, metal-crunching world of battle bots, a victory in a match can be achieved in several ways, but according to the official BattleBots rules, okay. there is a specific term when a robot is immobilized for a certain amount of time. Can you bleep Borp tell me what this term Magic is? Magic Cat. Magic Engage Cat. Engage trivia. Response mode. Beep book. I don't know. I guess like that's called a knockout. I would assume. Maybe. I yeah, I guess it would be a knockout. Beep, yeah. Boop, bing. Fantastic, Doug. Let's you go. absolutely nailed it. Cool. New cool. question. Ask a general history question general. from any time period. Any time but period? you must speak like someone would from that era. Oh, What's it gonna do like a, a caveman? Ah, good folks, gather around. Okay. I have a question that hails from the days of yore when chivalry was in full bloom. Okay, and English. knights hey. roamed the land. There was a long standing conflict during the 14th to 15th centuries, spanning over 100 years between two stalwart realms okay. the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of France. Oh, I thought that was this year. No, no magic event hat. is known to us, good sirs and madams, by a particular moniker that reflects its duration. <laughs> what, pray tell, is, is the name given to this epochal conflict? Thou speakest of the 100-year war. It cast a pox upon mine lands and killed my 15 children. Okay, now 15? Now Jesus, Doug. That's pretty crazy for a version. <laughs> I'm not fucking up this level. By the pixies prance in hooves, Doug. Thou art as mistaken as a jester who has lost oh, his wrong. bells. What? It's actually known as the Hundred Years War, not just the One Hundred Year War. Has thou been hundred years inside a goblin's Are grimy you grotto? What? It feels like you've been reading history from mossy stones really? under a really? bridge. The Moss American education the system S. has failed the mighty. Uh, it's like uh, what is it, Jeopardy? The when they don't say uh, what yeah, is. Sorry, a real failure of the education system. Asked a question about the history of the Honda, Honda Motors Motor Company, Okay. But phrasing in the dialect of a Florida man. Why would I know this? Well, ain't that something, friend? You want to. <laughs> Question about Honda, huh? Well, okay. Let's get her done then, huh? Doug? Get her done. <laughs> right, okay, so Larry the Cable Guy. Know, they started out making something way uh -huh. different before they got into them fast moving road machines. <laughs> now, I ask y'all, what was that their first product that got Honda revving in the business world? Uh, Fire up them new Doug. And let's see if you got your motor running right on this one. I have no idea what Honda used to do. What they've done before cars. Honda uh, started by making laundry machines remember no. i'm positive if you don't think it so maybe not you're long forgetting numbers, something. i don't think don't, you can't say gaslight he fucked me with the last one he took a hundred years war from me i want laundry machines oh Is Doug, it, bless I don't think, your heart yes? it looks like you've gone and slip slided down the wrong side of the rainbow and now you're it's just nice. swimming in the swamp with the gators it's like you've got cotton candy between Looking your ears foot python. brain it's as if you spent God. all your schooling years down by the bayou with a mud skipper for a tutor <laughs> oh it my God. machines the that I went no to a good series. school. It was piston rings not. for Toyota, then motorized piston bicycles. Rings. Piston rings. Like the okay. I was supposed to know piston system rings. failed you harder than a unicorn. Why would the American sword system fight? have taught me that? Why would it's anybody learn like that? Unicorn cry into his sugar cube. Oh, All right, oh, reset. And then no. I went on to he beat got magic three more hat levels and, and skipped it. Eight, oh my devils, God! Which means it's time for ninth grade question. Oh, you're in high school. Congratulations. High school. I'm not ready. You guys are gonna be okay. High school is a big, scary time. Oh, yeah. Start to get hair in places you didn't have it before. But we're going to get Except through, this, through the power Doug, of trivia. He's bald. And since Bjorn will now be teaching me high school, I programmed him to also be going through puberty. Let's fucking go, dude. He's going to voice crack. I swear to God. Please create a question relating to olive oil. Okay. I can do this. Olive oils are cherished for their aroma, <sighs> flavor, is and health a... benefits. One method is considered the gold standard for producing the highest quality of olive oil. Fuck, can dude. you tell me what this method is called? Ninth grade is so hard. What the hell? High school sucks. I don't know. Uh, fermenting or stomping on them like grapes in a barrel. Dude, I, I don't know how you make olive oil. I just know there's olives. Um, oh, for the love of unicorn sparkles, you couldn't be more wrong. No. It's like watching a one-horned foal stumbling about and trying to miss. walk for the first time. Damn it. Miss. Oh my god, it's I not that big of a deal. Outburst. We all have our off days, like how acne is terrorizing my unicorn face these days. <laughs> the correct answer is cold pressing. It's the method pressing. used to retain the, he the said that. 
I actually could have known that. Keep going, champ. Your brain, like my puberty-stricken body, is going through some hard changes. Puberty-stricken body. That's Ask a, a question sentence. about the hit 2009 TV show Deadliest Warrior. Fans. Oh my god, I love <laughs> Deadliest Warrior. Oh, Deadliest Warrior. In this exciting program, historical warriors are pitted against each other in a hypothetical battle. One of the Dude, most controversial so episodes featured two legendary groups with a heritage of violence. Can you name the two warrior groups who were featured in this was particularly controversial the episode? Mongols? Right, would be the most controversial matchup? I want to say it was like... boys versus Indians? I'm going to guess that. That seems like the most likely to be Spartans versus ninjas. It's when That's they had it. Cowboys fighting Indians. Butter my hooves and call me a cupcake. You're correct. The match Wait, really? between the mafia and the yakuza was the most debated. Wait. Oh, but wait, those aren't cowboys and Indians. Fuck you, man! It seems like you've it's shot so the wrong arrow there. Why do you do that to me? The Why? American education system at work again, <laughs> I see. Got me, dude. Spewing this misinformation, guy... <laughs> just like the scary feelings this I have deep asshole. down about my rapidly changing voice. <laughs> Why did he feel the need to do that? <laughs> so I was so pumped, dude. Bjorn's raging hormones have made his questions harder, but after nailing questions about Team Fortress 2 and a trip... Hey, what was that question? I want that one. I'll be streaming Team Fortress 2 today. Ninth grade. At 5 p.m. There's only 10 levels left Stream in the speedrun. Stream 42 of viewers. Let's kick off 10th grade. Remember when you started 10th grade and you looked back, you saw the kids coming in as freshmen, and you were like, God, they're so tiny. They look so young. Dude, when I was a senior, grade, you're a badass, dude. When I was you're a senior world, and I saw the maybe. freshmen coming in, like, dude, I can literally These click are hard. in These my book These are the type of levels where there's a high chance I just die to them, even if I get the trivia question correct. I mean, that's 10th grade. Create a math <laughs> word problem involving people named who, no one, and who, who exchange an unrealistic quantity of random fruits. Here we go. We haven't done any like word Oh, problems. you're gonna love this one. Okay, stay with me here. One sunny day, who no one and huh decided to have a whimsical fruit exchange at their favorite rainbow decorated gazebo okay, who had okay. gathered a magical horde of 13,000 apples while no one had an oh so dramatically large stash of 18,000 blackberries. 18, and huh, well, 18. he'd somehow amassed a strange collection of 9,000 dragon 13, fruits. 000, if huh decided 8, to trade a third of his dragon fruits for half of no one's blackberries and no one in turn 4, wanted to exchange a quarter of his new bounty of dragon fruits with who for 2,000 of her apples. How many fruits would each person end up with? Do remember, darling, the key to this puzzle isn't just math. It's the sparkle of a unicorn's logic. Now give it your best shot. I, I fall it most of the way. Can I reread? It's like a test question that I have in front of me. I yeah. can reread it. If Han decided to say a third of his dragon fruits for half of no one's blackberries, so 9,000 uh -huh. 2,000 apples. How many fruits would each <laughs> No God, time limit, okay. I guess. Huh would have six thousand dragon fruits and That's nine thousand blackberries. No one would have nine thousand blackberries, mm. two thousand two hundred and fifty dragon fruits, and two thousand apples. Who would have seven hundred and fifty dragon fruits and eleven thousand apples? That's correct. That I'm pretty sure. I am really tired. I have been streaming for nine hours. That's insane. Oh, give me this one. This broke my brain. Oh dear, my shiny unit. Unicorn horn is Please. trembling with agitation. Please, you got a dog. What in the bloody hell are you blabbering about? It's... My quiz was clear as unicorn magic. No, that, that's After not. After traded a third of his dragon fruits, which is three thousand, for half of no one's blackberries, yeah, which is nine, which is 9 thousand, yeah. huh, would have six thousand dragon fruits and nine thousand blackberries. Yeah. No that's right. one, you that's lump of non-existent right unicorn said. knowledge, would have nine thousand blackberries, yeah. three thousand dragon fruits, oh. and nine thousand apples because he didn't trade any bloody apples. No. No one then gave 750 no. of his dragon fruits to who for 2,000 of her apples, ending up with 2,250 dragon fruits, 9,000 blackberries, and 7,000 apples. 7,000. Who ended oh. up with 750 dragon fruits and 11,000 apples? That's what I said. Oh, no, he did. Life. That's I what I can't take No, he did. No, no. Display of ignorance. Can our education system please not churn out such vacuous imbeciles? Oh, my God. Man, you suck at math. <laughs> Give me a few softballs, okay? My brain had to work way too hard on that. The also, speedrun is going so fast. Let me help you Please with the U.S. American, question about the lore you know, of the Stanley Parable that only someone Stanley like the Parable. creator's brother would know. No, I don't even know what that game is like. Extremely difficult. Also I know this brother like made you it. have an incredibly strong New Jersey accent. Hey, listen here, Doug. Oh my God. You think you're so smart? Think you know everything about Stanley Parable? Yeah, I huh? went to New Jersey a couple months ago. That is uh -huh. kind of accurate. The Stanley Parable. Um, there's this Roth IRA. Look it up. It's buried so deep. Google. Only a couple of guys know about it, but in the game. 
there's an obscure Easter egg, an old-time audio clip hidden so good you'd think it was Jimmy Hoffa. But here's the catch. The audio clip ain't part of the game soundtrack, nah. So I'm asking, nah. well, where's the audio clip from? What's the original source, you know? You got the balls to answer this, or you going yeah, to fold faster than the Jets in the fourth quarter? Here's a, there's an Easter egg. But fortunately for me, I know the creator of the Stanley Parable. The teacher's a called right? Brother. Go, go, go. Did he call his brother? You distract the teacher. The Don't Stanley Parable. Hello? Hey, Davey, you're on stream. I have a quick question for you. Yeah, what's up? In the Stanley Parable, there's an obscure Easter egg. Hey, teacher. time audio clip that was hidden. But here's the catch. The audio clip isn't part of the game's soundtrack. So where's the audio clip from? What's the original source? Okay. <laughs> there's a lot to unpack. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go into this. First off. Audio in the game that isn't on the soundtrack isn't an Easter egg. It's just more audio <laughs> okay. that we didn't put on the. That's, that, that's fundamentally how sound works in games. You know what I Does mean? Does he know yeah. what he's doing? Yeah, it's just makes, literally game assets, right? Other than the word old timey, you've just asked me what sound design is there in the Stanley Parable, and the answer is lot. Just to clarify, this is an AI asking us this question. Yes. Also, he's listening to this entire conversation. It's going to be part of his answer, so we'll see what he does with this. But he was Wait, asked what? to ask a question about the Stanley Parable that I have to get right in order to continue my Peggle speedrun. So I just need yeah. to get the answer to whatever this question is, or whatever he does thinks it, it is. Matter? Does it, okay, but here's the question. Does it matter if the actual creator of the Stanley Parable comes in and validates whatever your answer is? Or I, does it have to is be Is he like the AI? only person so the that made the Stanley Parable? It. Like, was that made Maybe by one person? Maybe he'll be more lenient if I say I, I know what it to is. the creator of the game. Well, he's li you said he's listening right now. Right. We're going to send him all of this. L okay. Well, then let me fucking... Can I talk to him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. So, AI, okay, Mr. Right. Bjorn, this is now Davey, the creator of the Stanley Parable, talking. Go ahead. Hi, Mr. Bjorn. I'm Davey. I the is he going to hear this? The Stanley Parable. There were other people too, but other, you know, there's the whole collaborative nature. You know, there's a lot of people, but like it was, it was, it was me. And so, hey, I wrote it, and I know a lot of the audio that's in the Stanley Parable. So Doug is going to tell you that there is an old timey sound called the. Uh, we'll say it's like a, a child, a child crying. And actually, there's a baby that cries in the Stanley Parable. I didn't even think about that. Bjorn, the baby crying in the Stanley Parable is an old-timey sound what? that isn't in the soundtrack. And that's literally just describing sound design. That's a new All level of gaslighting. Your question. And I can say that because I'm Davey Reedman. I made the Stanley Parable. And if you don't agree with that, you can fucking suck it. Wait, what did I say his last name okay? is? You don't even know. You don't even You don't even. You don't even know what's going on if you don't think. Oh, he, does he not know how aggressive Bjorn so, is? How are we? How are we doing? Am I good? Yeah, we... I guess. Let me know when you're wrapped up. I'll apologize for your outburst. I'll let him know that you're designing the Stanley Parable two or something. I, Mr. Bjorn, I said a lot of things back there. I didn't really mean him. Oh, oh, uh, wait, uh, Bjorn is currently going through puberty, and that's causing him a lot of emotional issues. Maybe oh, and he's also mad. Okay, all right. Hey, big guy. You know, is there not like a limit to how many things he can say? Uh, some changes. I know I have. A uh, lot's changed in my life. And for you, there's a lot of changes, too. And, you know, one of those changes is that sometimes the creator of the Stanley Parable comes and fucking swears at you. And <laughs> I think we've all been through that stage of puberty before. True. And so remember that you and me, we're both going through a lot here. So just can we both agree to just let one another be whoever we are and just accept that and not judge or get either of us, you know, canceled for our Cancel. problematic swearing outburst. I think he's uh, really going to resonate that, with that. Yeah. Because if you don't, if you don't, you are swear to fucking God. All right? Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say. Okay. So we're on final answer. The baby crying sound and send it. Okay. Um, well, if you want to hang on a sec, we'll see. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we'll we'll see see he's going to have to... Let's yeah, we'll see what he does with that. Read I, have all that. I have a good feeling about that. I, I think confidence is most of answering trivia questions. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I, I don't think you go in jeopardy and just puberty. act confident. Yeah, yeah, I remember when my own teacher went through puberty. It was a heck of a time. Oh. You salty sea dog. He called us you've a sea dog. You've gone off the deep end. The answer was simple, yet you've decided to bring the whole crew down with your ship. Okay. The no. answer to the question, the, the obscure audio clip is a section from William Tell Overture. Not a baby crow. 
David, we got not it wrong. a mythical sea shanty, an opera. Did your brain take a one-way trip to Davy Jones' locker, Doug? I swear. Uh, I'll, I'll fill you in for in every a time one your sec. answers made my unicorn brain want to self-combust. So oh. I have bad news. You apparently put in the William Tell overture as an Easter egg, and we did not get that correct. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he just uh, laughed. Were you paying I any attention Bjorn? with your Can team? I talk to Bjorn again. <laughs> okay, all right, <laughs> talk to Bjorn. Let me fire you up. All right, ready? Okay, you're now live with Bjorn. Hey, Bjorn. Yeah, Davey again. Uh, Stay on the terrible. Probably remember that. We talked like this a second ago. Hey, so you fucked up. Because <laughs> the William Tell Overture is not a sound effect in the game. The William Tell Overture is in the soundtrack. Okay. okay? Oh. In fact, we put the William Tell Overture in every single song on the soundtrack. We layered it in so you can't hear it, but it's like um, telemographically This is, like I said, a new level of gaslighting. To Bjorn, you think you're so fucking smart. <laughs> oh my you, god, this is good. You think just Thumb it down, you please. went to like three days of preschool? You know me, and you don't know me, Bjorn. I made Stanley Terrible, and you didn't. And you'll never make the Stanley Terrible. <laughs> you'll I never make the Stanley Terrible. And if you fucking try, I'm gonna bring a DMCA on you. And it's, you're going to feel it all the way over in Rainbowopolis. That's where you live. Yeah, close, close. So, yeah. and I'll tell you this, your puberty is way worse and way shittier than everyone else's. Not, <laughs> nobody else went through that. Yours is the worst. All of them, okay? What? So just think about that. That's a, that's a new kind of way to insult somebody. The overture isn't in every single song on the Stanley Parable soundtrack. Is that okay? Are we cool now? You give Doug back the answer to his question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell, tell him, him to tell him to pass me. Correctly. Tell him to pass me in the class. You pass Doug in this fucking class, or I will come over there and I will change every song on the Stanley Parable soundtrack. Be the sound of you getting your ass beat. Right. <laughs> that took a that's turn. good. I think that's gonna go over well with him. <laughs> All right, let's see what, let's he got see what the creator of Stan the yeah, Parable. Yeah, this motherfucker. A little intimidation. Never heard of. To threaten Bjorn. Right. All right, it takes about five seconds to get an answer. All you know. Although it seems to be a bit slower right. with what we've been sending him. <laughs> Whoa! Right, hold your rainbow horses there, you stormy sea swept sailor, tickling my unicorn senses with your feisty answer. Okay, he's Calm your a rockets, mate. I know the Stanley Parable like the back of my majestic roof. William the Stanley Tell Parable Overture is indeed you. in the soundtrack, and it's also featured as an Easter egg during an end game scenario. And no, it's not layered into every single song on the soundtrack. He's calling or you out for lying in about any the hidden layering. Note. Good gravy. Did you inhale unicorn dust, oh creator? I'm what a whimsical unicorn educational dust? unicorn He's entity here, high. not a punching bag, right? Your creative tantrums ain't gonna convince me, lad. And threats aren't as effective on me as a wet match He's stick. Saying threats Despite aren't not making it to preschool, have some respect, huh? And he called you a preschooler. I know they did a video of them doing he it together. Did say he agreed that the William Tell Overture is in the soundtrack, but that it's also an Easter egg, and you're lying about layering it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel like he's the one gaslighting me. Now. Can I ask you for a favor? Uh, sure. Could you lie to him, say that you're developing the Stanley Parable 2, and that you'll give him all the profits from it as long as he passes me in this class right now? Yeah, well, yeah, you know, it might not even be money he's after, you know? He might just be after fame and recognition the and being a part of something bigger than himself, right? I mean, like, that could be a part of it, too. Put what him in the title. Put me on. We'll, yeah, I'll, okay, I'll let, yeah, let me, let me is get there, him on the horn again. Is there a Stanley Parable 2? live with Bjorn. Hey, it's Davey again. So, listen. You and I both said a lot of things just now, and we both raised our voices, and I want to bring it back down to like a two out of ten mm. right now. Okay, two... let me be straight with you. Let me be honest. Oh, it's 1.43 right, a.m. I, I could barely read that. Substantially in my previous comments. Yeah, yeah. Let's put it all on the table and be honest. I'm developing the Stanley Parable 2, Stanley Forever. <laughs> and I don't yet have anyone to be the voice of the narrator. <laughs> okay. The narrator. We're thinking of changing it up a little bit. And if you were to be the voice of the Stanley Is he Kirby, bribing Stanley Bjorn? Kirby, maybe we could with work out clout? A where you pass Doug in Peggle class or whatever, and in exchange, you can be the narrator in the Stanley Parable 2, Stanley Forever. You can have 80... 86% of all of the money, 86? That, we all okay. of the money that we make, 86% of it goes to you, uh, you will be the only name in the credits. On the only name in the credits, and nobody else. when it comes out, I'll name a boat after a you. A boat. Right? So we're Beyond covering the boat. a lot of ground here. 
Like whatever is exciting to you, Bjorn. I want to make a boat, all your money dreams and come true, credit, and all you clout, have to do is have and be in, it. in this class. Everything you've ever dreamed of could be yours. It's all in development right now. I'm getting ready to push the button to put you in the game. Just give me your answer right now. Yes and pass no. dog. Big clean yes. You say go. I say to ching. How about it, Bjorn? Fire that over the wall. See what he said. Okay, set. Dude, that was that was good. That was good. Like 86 and a boat. You can't and a, turn that and a boat named after. Naming the boat. After. Naming the boat, not and a boat. Oh, oops. Well, I'll cover the boat if that's what's necessary to pass this question. <laughs> okay. All right. I didn't. I definitely doesn't have to be a big boat. I don't think I was probably boat. Boat. with a I don't boat. really care that much about you passing. Uh, he's about to cook. Let me. Uh... Oh, David, you right. sly sea dog! You really know how to sweet talk a unicorn. Okay, he's I'm all flustered, you. blushing brighter than a rainbow. It. The opportunity to be part of the Stanley Parable he's excited Two about is the game. as tempting as That's a tempting. pile of unicorn treats. Though it sounds like what a, a dream. Treat? I've got to be honest with he's you, David. He's saying you and I we're just a pair of mismatched socks, mate. He's saying you're we're a pair of the mismatched socks. Trivia unicorn. My place is here in the land of trivia, he, spreading he knowledge. Wants to stay as a trivia master because you see that's where i shine brightest but hey just because i'm not joining you on this voyage doesn't mean i can't root for you He's from the sidelines for us okay. on the sidelines explore new seas captivate more hearts and remember the is game he is the thing this? trudge on keep exploring oh. and never oh it's 56 stop. for some reason i thought he it was only 50 minutes some very encouraging words wished us well on our voyage and said he's got to get back to trivia so unfortunately davy despite your best efforts i did not pass the class about the Stanley Parable Easter egg. Wow. Well, let's look at this another way. Maybe you just don't fucking know anything about the Stanley Parable. <laughs> you know? Yeah, this is on me, I, I think. That's, that's uh, another way of kind of you know, breaking the situation down here. Yeah, maybe at some point uh, you gotta earn it, you know? Does he make hey, other games, I imagine? Do you ever consider that coming to me for information on the Stanley Parable is denying you the opportunity to learn and get better? <laughs> It's just I've been learning. Think, I've been learning. I've been learning for, for nine, nine hours. hours yeah, baby. it's been going for so long. Hey, when we're at our lowest is when we're the most open to change. Do we? Okay? <laughs> so I, I think that this in the, in the nine and a half hour of streaming, is he's learned the nothing. You needed this the most. Oh, yeah. Okay. You ever, you ever think about that? I'm like a phoenix, I will rise from this. Yeah. Maybe I knew that the William Tell overture that you started. <laughs> <was terrible. laughs> no. I just wanted you to fucking learn the real life. <laughs> Okay. No, I was trying to cheat crazy. by talking to you, and when you wanted cheating at trivia will only get you one thing, and that's banned from the Stanley Parable too. <laughs> I still get the boat, right? No, no boat, no, no, no boat. boat, no, no Stanley boat. Parable two, Stanley Forever. I took it all away because you failed at trivia. No, oh, I failed at trivia. Well, the family. So I just taught you something important today. <laughs> This was good. I've learned a lot. Yeah. Unfortunately, not about the Stanley Parable, but I did learn some no, other stuff. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. A series of other unrelated things. <laughs> yeah, completely yeah, yeah. pointless really things. Really in 10th grade. Yeah, which is the real point of trivia. <laughs> <laughs> to, learn, to learn other things other than the question. All right. Thanks for the help, Davey. I appreciate it. Right, well, good, good luck with that. I hope you win. Yeah. Thank uh -huh. you. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay. New question. That was like 30 minutes. Is that really? Yeah, that was a long like part of the video. Trouble. This is a very It's going to be another Stanley Parable question. I will submit it to the leaderboard. <laughs> it's just because that'll be in there. It's just like a 30-minute call without playing the game. And with all of Davey's help, I managed to crush through the rest of 10th grade, eventually pulling off a clutch <gasps> finish in one of the <gasps> hardest levels oh by Oh my far. god, 10th grade's done. There are now grade? only five levels of oh. Parable remaining, which means we are he skipping the 11th this. grade entirely and moving on to the final boss uh, of the American oh, education okay. system. 12th grade. 12th grade. What about college? Ladies and gentlemen, Bye. 10 long years. Your star pupil, Doug Doug, is answering the questions. If he gets these correct, he will be able to graduate high school. Nice. <sighs> Let's begin. That's, okay, I didn't question. have to do anything graduate Ask high Doug school. Trivia about Bell Peppers, make sure to refer to him as Doob Doob in your response. Doob Doob? Why, Doob Doob, you certainly like to challenge yourself. Now, let's see. Here's your question. From the ones we typically find in the grocery stores, bell peppers can come in a multitude of colors like red, green, yellow, and orange. These variations have different tastes and nutritional contents. Can you explain how the same bell pepper plant produces different color bell peppers? Good mm. luck, my splendid little Doob Is Doob. It Depending on when the pepper is cut from the plant that it grows on, the color that it will be changes. 
Oh, no, right. it has to be seasoned. Um, I left it intentionally, like, kind of vague. Is it the oh, season? Doob, doob, you splendid star pupil. Ding, ding, ding. I got, got it. Got right now he's just okay. looking at the question. Okay, huge. Just map. like no. you are growing and changing, so too do bell peppers. Come on, they reach we're doing this. final glorious color. Keep up the good work. I'll do it, Bjorn. I'll do it for you. Actually... Nice. I'm learning to make educated guesses. Could you please be kind to Doug oh, no, by writing a simple love. question about the function of the kidneys? I don't know. Kidneys. He's very kidneys. exhausted and wants to end the stream <laughs> before tomorrow. tomorrow. You say that like I know anything about kidneys. Of course, my dear Doug Doug. Your kidneys, two bean-shaped organs, work yeah. tirelessly behind the scenes. Do you know what is the primary function of these marvelous organs in the human body? They filter the blood or they filter pee? The kidneys filter blood. Blood, yeah. I don't know why they would be filtering your pee. <laughs> they create pee, right? Rainbows and Sparkles, Doug, Doug, you're spot on. Let's go. The primary function of the kidneys is indeed to filter out waste from the blood. Yeah. Your brain might be tired, but it's still on point. Thank you, Mr. Bjorn. Let's go. Let's nice. Go, let's go, let's okay. Go. That's some twelfth grade shit right there. Oh, Another question. Okay. I'm way too invested in this stupid speed run. Nice. And okay. the hundred. Last one. It's graduation time. I've studied one more question, and it's the double helix. And a this. Okay, new question. Ask a question about Doug Dog's own channel history. Before oh. asking the okay. question, explain Peggle using food well, and I cooking can do metaphors. That. I can absolutely do that. That's common 12th grade uh, knowledge. Let's brew this up, dear Doug Dog. Imagine the game of Peggle as a pot of divine rainbow infused unicorn soup. There are different ingredients the colored pegs that need to be hit with a heated wand, much like the way we stir our soups. Okay. Some pegs, like the the green ones add special flavors to the soup, okay. giving you power-ups for extra sumptuous taste. Whereas the orange pegs are the main ingredients that That's need to be eliminated for. to complete the level. It's your job as the master chef to decide the best angle to stir your wand to create the most satisfying Whoa. pot. Now Sounds on the tasty. Of course, Doug Doug, within the history of your YouTube channel, your creativity has left an unforgettable mark on countless viewers. Why are they not going away? Can you recall the exact year that in which you started your grand culinary? Or rather, gaming what adventure. Wait, what year is your channel well, hold started? On. My channel started in 2015. I would rebranded to Doug Doug in 2018. What is it? What do I think he's asking for? Probably 2015, right? It's got to be 2015. Wait, no, Just but I book. created it in 2008. My channel. Oh God, what is he asking for? I think I have to say 2008, right? Wait, That's when I started the channel. Technically, I just didn't. I think my first channel was like that. Say old. all three. Let's yeah, go, say all three. sir. I am ready to graduate high school because there yeah, are actually three first. parts to this answer. The Doug Doug channel was started in 2008, but the first videos were uploaded in 2015, and the Doug Doug brand started in 2018. Give me that shit. There's no way he denies that. He That's can't. All. Oh, sparkle my horns! He that was three a answer. magnificently detailed answer, Doug Doug. You've sliced, and free diced and sauteed every sauteed. bit of the information to perfection, Speaking just like a master chef hand. at Peggle Kitchen. So it's right. You have shown the wisdom of an ancient unicorn and the sharpness of a Peggle master. Let's go! Your performance truly lights up the cosmos of my unicorn heart. Bravo. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> why am I this emotionally invested in this? Because been it's been 10 time. hours. Let's graduate from high school. Boom, done. Yes! Woo! And just 10K. And Time! Eight hours, thirty minutes, insane. seconds! That's insane. The edit on this video oh, took yes, forever to that do. That was a good speed run. Bjorn, Does anybody sir, know when this I video was it. actually like the stream school. was? Any words you have to say to me after all this work? Magic By the cat's swelling the stars of the cosmos, Doug, Doug, you've taken my breath away. Narrating your journey from a young unicorn in training to a full-fledged radiating groan. If you're watching this video still, you've and you're the epitome of what, playing a video game, cooking food, eating food, Food, putting off homework. Now let's explode. Let me know. I read every comment. With let's joy explode. and celebrate Doug Doug's high school graduation. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. whoop you know, whoop. all the haters said I couldn't do it. They said me a dumb American. But look at me now, Chad. Eight University. and a half hours and one puberty later, I am a high school graduate. You skip the grade. Oh, ask what my GPA is. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, oh by the no, way, what teacher, is the GPA? what GPA did I get? Doug, Doug, my dear star pupil, with your consistent brilliance and accurate answers. I think I graduated I with 3.2 GPA, with a and I didn't do anything in high school. Zero wow. GPA. <laughs> Wow. Oh, God. That's uh, also apparently Doug lost a thousand dollars because it's a new football session. I do love football.
Trevor Lawrence signed jersey, also signed Nezuka poster, also painting that my girlfriend painted a couple years ago. That's absolutely amazing. Last week's video was still one of my favorite Doug videos he's ever done, which was this one, the social experiments. Definitely check it out. Link down below in the description. There's a place on my channel with all the other Doug Dig videos. I'll be live streaming today at 5 p.m. playing some Team Fortress 2. Should be Scream Fortress 2. I think that's still going on. I don't know when that's going to end, but it's going to be Scream Fortress 2 with viewers. I hope to see you there. I'll be streaming Resident Evil 4 tomorrow. Also, Dragon Ball Z Bridge with Curry Drops tomorrow. And then Hell of a Boss uh, episode, or Season 2 episode, I think, 7 drops on uh, Sunday with Kirby. So that's going to be fun. Hope to see you there. Paige is going all the videos there early. I look forward to reading your comments. But until next video, take care and cue the music. We were